So, of course, as always, there's a there's an epiphany here. There's an epiphany. It's like one of those things, you know, like I'll end up, of course, just aligned with where I'm supposed to be and where I'm intended to be. My spirit guides are consistently guiding me. And it's just so wild because I used to I used to just be like, "Oh, I'm super intu- I'm just super intuitive. I'm su- I know I was listening to something recently and I was like, you know, when you know kind of the design of a place, you know, the the background of a place and and the layout of a place because you've been there before. But it's because you are the designer of your existence before you came here. There was a soul contract. He said, I'm coming down here to get this done, get this done. And then you, you designed the cars and all the people and what the people would teach you and all of the different layers of existence, but you don't get to know until you're there. And that's, that's the, um, and so it's like, whoa, I've been here before. Oh, I know. I know that if I turn here, it's going to lead me here. And like, so I very much like ever since I moved to California have been, I just allow it all to flow to me, allow it all to flow through me and I follow it. And so for the past 13 years, it's been of, of, um, it's been a battle of the mind and the intuition because I'm very intuitive. My my wow (laughs) but I just didn't really realize until you know I see it in other people and I'm like that's like me and yes just it's just confirmation after confirmation after confirmation and so okay so what I was talking about before I hit record was the fact that there are there was a mushroom vendor um and I'm just like, this doesn't happen. I haven't done, so I microdosed mushrooms last year, last May, on the last day of lightning in a bottle. And it was the most powerful, it was, it was, okay, it was such a great night. It was such a great night. Imagine if you got lightning in a bottle. And so I remember just so much of Um, just being in awe. I was a watcher all night of this universe that we created. And, you know, you have neon costumes. The thing that sticks out to me the most was the double Dutch, was the light up double Dutch in the middle of, I just love that. You're just like, walk in, hmm, what stage am I going to go to? Let me stop and watch these people fucking play double Dutch, all right? And just jump in. It was just such a marvel and it was absolutely wonderful. It was wonderful. And I was out and up until, uh, it wasn't five, that was the day before with Alex, but I was out till three or four, I'm telling you, I was at this fucking stage, the stacks, and it sucked me in, this is Sunday night, sucked me in, Antony, um, killed it, absolutely just like, This was my first experience with this kind of music at all. And the bass just absolutely snatched and captured my soul and said, come here. And we went primal with it and we were stomping and we were just throwing our body around. It was so, it was like this, this beautiful dance of like, you're here, you're here with the humans. (laughs) You're here with the humans. They're here. Like, so people who have been around a plethora of conscious people really just knowing aware people when like okay so people on the outside who have it they hear you know raise the vibration raise the consciousness raise the all this that energy is so fucking real like standing next and I and I just get this insight of what people experience when they're next to me (laughs) and standing next to one two three four five six seven in the hundreds thousands of people who are radiating this power because they have been working on themselves they've been clearing themselves of the the shadow like doing their shadow work doing their ego work doing their spiritual work all like doing rituals in their tents Connecting with their spirit guides and rolling up to the music fest 
just stacked, okay, with protection. And so you put all that energy in one place, like get out of here, okay? When you're in it, it's like you just don't, you don't even understand what's happening. And then you have, you know, we're doing meditation and yoga and all these enlightening things throughout the weekend. So you have these, this energy that, that raises and raises and raises and raises the more and longer we're there. So anyway, 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 it was absolutely powerful, wonderful. The very last day I did, I microdosed shrooms. I didn't want it to be crazy or wild. So I didn't take that much. And then I was like, I should have taken more because it was definitely, I mean, it was a, it was like a light show. It was really cute and very heartfelt and I felt really connected to every human being out there (sighs) and I never wanted to leave and I felt really um connected to the music as well which was just next level so all of that to say this yeah um yeah I haven't done shrooms since then taken them and right now I'm in a transformational era of my life And it is airy season and we are in a powerful portal and I'm in a place where I know my purpose and it actually is beyond what I've been saying it is. I've actually gotten downloads in the past few days that have told me, Melanie, this is what it is actually. And it's not just about women empowerment. And I've kind of just been blanketly been saying, raise the consciousness. But I've been getting messages and notes from my guides that are telling me about the homeless and are telling me about well, the houseless and are telling me to help them and <laughs> it's it's kind of non-negotiable at this point I can't really mess around with that because that is actually a, that was like I was guided to that three times like last week or in the past what 14 days or I don't know a uh, very short time I've been drawn homeless 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 you might like your your space is there and you are also of course here to to help to heal oh my god astrology human design I mean I roll up to this event tarot reading energies channeling energies uh, just opening my eyes to all of these different things and I know that I have gifts and it's one of those things of like how where 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 are your gifts gonna lie um training um understanding learning what book am I about to dive into because it's about mastery at this point because I I definitely really look up to and enjoy um Mark David Meyer he has been such a light in my journey and he like he's helped me a lot um in understanding and and kind of like he's literally a mirror of of my my thoughts and my consciousness I feel like I designed him (laughs) like my spirit guides put Mark into a little bundle and said Melanie here this is what you need to hear like because like where else am I going to come across this good old TikTok and so yeah Mark not to put ownership on you but I feel that I feel that consciousness that collectiveness that feeling of yeah like just like just like that's what I was listening to was just like how I said Uh, before was that we all designed this we made this how are you gonna be down on somebody else when that's you how are you gonna hate on this person when that's you you know like so I see Mark and I'm like me that that's me that's what I say and I look at our charts and we're not even uh we're not that similar but there he is a light and so it's wonderful I'm very very grateful to have found and experienced him it's just gonna be a really beautiful uh beautiful rise of fucking Melanie and and even even saying my name even ascribing the name man it is just it's so much bigger than Melanie Melanie's my human self and it's like 
wow. So, so here's my, this is all, this is all my thinking right now. I've been on this, this precipice of, of something just so, so new and, and shiny and, uh, this new conscious. I've like today. So I took work off today and was like, cause I hadn't taken a day off in weeks actually. Um, I took a day off today and just kind of sat with myself. I went in nature, like just doing the things that called me, getting back to, well, not back. So, so what I deduced was that I am getting used to my, um, to my body again. I go through these transformations, like, like nothing okay the way that I transform you might have thought like my last one was a year ago but no bitch it was literally like yesterday or no weeks like I feel like every week or every whatever I am just up here um getting all of these these brand new messages like these epiphanies of like your energy should be here. Your energy should go here. Your energy goes here. Your energy would be great here. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Either way, it all comes down to helping the consciousness and helping helping people rise um, to the awareness of the fact that we're souls and human bodies and that they are part of the power. And we cannot be powerful unless you are powerful. And that's that's been my whole thing. Like women in power this year. Like step into your power. Like this is our time. This is our time. And then human design. I feel called to bring out the manifestors. Okay. You have this energetically plain. Just saturated of people who are waiting to be initiated. You have this ginormous plane of human beings energetically, these souls energetically waiting, waiting to be initiated. And when there's only one type of initiator who will make up the eight to nine percent, what the fuck are you doing? And you know what it is? We're, we, they, you know, all suppressed because society said, be a generator, be a generator, nine to five, go do this, go do this, go do this. When the manifestors are, manifestors are probably very, um, very trauma filled at this moment when it comes to society. I'm not trying to lead a society. You guys keep pushing me in my not self theme. I'm angry. There's a lot of angry manifestors out there who don't want shit to do with anything that has to do with raising the consciousness of anything. If it doesn't have to do with them, you know, like that selfishness, maybe that low vibrational ego stance. I'm an ego manifester. If I didn't do my ego work, what in the fuck? I'm out here trying to lead people. My spirit got like, they led me to that. I was a personal trainer. And I was training people and I said, this is not the energy I want when I'm healing people. I feel, uh, I kind of feel unrest. I feel disdain about this. Like I, I'm upset about your progress and I shouldn't be personal about this. I didn't know how to, um, how to do my ego work. I had to understand. And cause if something's energetically not there for me, it's, I'm not going to do it. And yeah. So I stepped away because I did need to learn more about myself. And I wanted to, I, yeah, I just wanted to learn more. And Saturn was like, woo, here you go, girl, you gonna learn. And I said, okay, whatever. <laughs> so here I am, um, way more than Saturn, gosh, North Node. We're not, we're not going to get into my chart. <laughs> but I am about to do a uh, hour drive home from this wonderful event and all that I just said was to come back to the fact that there was a mushroom vendor here and I mean I take signs from the universe okay universe said here's a here's some insight here's some light to your clear and next message and so tomorrow I'm going to spend the whole day designing my life and taking these mushrooms and shutting myself of that fear of success 
the fear of fame, the fear of having the life that I actually want, having the life that I actually desire instead of the one that I happened upon. I did not happen upon this life, Jesus. Um, <laughs> very planny. Um, but I, I guess I'm thinking more of the breakup. Ever since the breakup, it's been just so hard for me to find ground on what my purpose was. And I really, I really ascribed it and put it a lot into, um, I put it a lot into women, women empowerment, women power. Let me help the women, um, all of those things, which is great and fine, but there's just, there really is even a bigger picture. And I, I didn't know that I didn't realize that. And so tomorrow I get more insight into that. And then just being just more aware in general, I cannot wait to hear the messages that are going to come and who I'm going to see and what I'm going to do. I know art is a really big thing. I think I'll bust out the sewing machine because the whole thing today I'm like looking at all the tapestry and the pillows I'm like I want to make that pillow I want to make that I want to make that quilt pillow design the pillows and then of course my business brain my Capricorn is fuck like oh my gosh maybe there are people out there that have a bag of things that they want to donate and maybe they do want their pillows made out of the very clothing that has got them to this moment and when I tell you if I'm so when I'm doing my events, when I'm in my Zen space, my my uh, sacred space storefront that everyone gets to come to, looking around the space, I'm seeing the quilt of all of my favorite clothing that I just wore in cycle for 10, 13 years. Come on. That's, that's, that's magic. That's power. That's metal. Like look what got you here like it it's so powerful and I really I can't wait to do that <laughs> that's like emotional it's just ridiculous because I realized that my cl- my closet of clothing like I, I was looking at memories from such a long time ago and it was my closet of clothing was it's still the same like I'm still cycling the same clothes uh, besides the the random um, things that I'm not wearing anymore. And I'm like, girl, you need to completely throw all of this away. And so I was like, all right, I'll throw it away, man. And so I have it in a bag, but I'm going to make a quilt and pillows. And I'm so happy to get that message. God. So, Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm really, I'm glad. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to record tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to um, document. I probably will though. I got to get ready for this drive. But yeah, thank you for the downloads tonight. I also got a memory of like wicker basket or weaving baskets weaving baskets and my mom used to give us mayday baskets for some reason had no idea what it meant but she would give us mayday baskets and I really I love the weaving this is yeah very interesting so I got a little childhood memory in there good times all right good night